Hello, Gemini. Welcome to a How They Feel About You love reading. We're going to be looking at what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you or about this connection and what are their true intentions towards you. Um, keep in mind that these readings are general Gemini, so they will not resonate with every Gemini watching. And let's jump right in. For Gemini Spirit, what does Gemini need to know? Regarding love, what does Gemini need to know? I saw the lovers, yep, there you are, Gemini. What does Gemini need to know regarding love, Spirit? What does Gemini need to know regarding love? Oops, what does Gemini need to know? Oh, what is this? Five of Cups, Three of Swords. All right, let's get into this. For Gemini, let's see what we get for you guys this month. We know that Geminis have been getting kind of similar readings lately or the same kind of theme. So we'll see if that continues or if we have something completely different for you. So what's going on right now for you in love, we have the King of Cups reverse and the Seven of Cups. You're like the third sign, I think, second or third sign this week that got either King of Cups reverse or Queen of Cups reverse somewhere in the reading. So emotionally, some someone's not doing well or there's um, deep disappointment or um, maybe this is someone that's confused emotionally, doesn't really know what to think or feel. Uh, I heard, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> so this could be you, this could be your person. We'll clarify to get a little bit more insight there, but I feel like someone is kind of just not sure what to think or what to make of a situation, not sure what to do with the way they feel, um, not sure what to do with the situation they find themselves in. Um, what do you need to know about the situation? Page of Wands. Here we can also see like there's any challenges. And the moon, Pisces energy. Yeah, there's, there's a little bit of confusion here because there's something that's not known with the moon. There could be doubts, um, something that feels that not not that feels but that is hidden underneath the surface or hidden beneath the surface that someone's trying to figure out i feel like with the page of wands here though it's almost like someone wants to take the initiative the first steps to get to the bottom of something to get clarity because they don't have clarity especially with the moon and the seven of cups so how do you feel about this person the emperor Aries energy there and the Knight of Pentacles okay so I feel like you're waiting for a masculine energy maybe they they're taking a while to to make you an offer here because the Knight of Pentacles takes their time um, this could be somebody older this could also be you wanting to make an offer as well how do they feel about you Five of Pentacles, so they <laughs> they feel a bit shut out here, possibly. And the Empress, wow, we have the Emperor and the Empress here. Like divine counterparts, these are, you know, the it couple, basically. Okay, so what is going on behind the scenes? Any hidden factors? What do you need to know? The Hermit Reverse. And the Seven of Pentacles. So yeah, there's there's a lot of like confusion in this reading. We've gotten kind of cards, three cards here about doubt or insecurity or just an uncertainty. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is a card where someone's kind of wondering if something's going to pay off, wondering if there will be success. There's, they're not sure. They're hoping that what they've done is enough. The Hermit Reverse is here though, so it's almost like... Um, especially with the five of pentacles. Maybe this is a situation where someone is very withdrawn or away. There's a there's a distance, maybe even an, an emotional distance between two people. The hermit reverse could also be that someone is ignoring their intuition or, or not listening to advice or counsel. We'll have to see what that's about. And where is all of this headed for Gemini? Page of cups reverse, why? And then the 10 of cups, okay. It's kind of like, opposite energies here what is going on gemini i 
have no idea what's going on here. I mean, the Ten of Cups tells me that something positive could be on its way. But the Page of Cups reverse is someone whose dreams are shattered, who is heartbroken. Okay, so why is all of this ha happening? What's the foundation here, the bottom of the deck? Three of Swords reverse. Okay, so that can mean a couple of things. And I did see the Three of Swords while I was shuffling. Three of Swords reverse could mean that someone wants to heal from a heartbreak or heal a difficult situation, overcome a difficult situation. Um, but sometimes for, you know, love readings, a Three of Swords reverse can mean a third party situation. So we'll have to see. Let's get some clarity for Gemini. Spirit, angels, guides, can we get some clarity, please, for Gemini? What do we need to know about these energies? What do we need to know about these energies for Gemini? I haven't asked my question yet, but the Knight of Swords reverse. Okay, so I, I'm thinking words said that someone regrets. I'm thinking messages that are not coming through. Tell me about the Three of Swords reverse. I want to start there. I want to know why all of this is happening. This is the why, the root of the situation. Why is the Three of Swords reverse here for Geminis? What's this Three of Swords reverse about? The Devil reverse. Capricorn energy. What's the Three of Swords doing here reverse? Can we get one more? Tell me about the Three of Swords reverse. Why is this? Oh, I got two. Nine of Wands reverse. Interesting. Wow. And then the Four of Pentacles reverse. This is very clear energy. The, actually, hold on. Yeah, I'm actually, my whole deck is reverse right now. All of these cards are supposed to come up upright, but I was so distracted by the message. Yeah, this is supposed to be an upright deck that I used to clarify, but once I saw that double reverse, I was like, that makes sense. You know, it just, it's, it, it, it was just so clear. So I'm going to leave these three reverse, but the rest of them are going to be upright because essentially this is supposed to be an up, all upright deck so that it can get easier, um, more clear readings or more clarity um, in the readings. But I don't believe in coincidences and all of these three cards fit so well together um, and I'll tell you why so the devil reverse instantly I thought of someone that is breaking free they're overcoming some situation where they were stuck restricted where they maybe were unhappy in an unhealthy situation and they're cutting the cord basically um, someone is letting go and it makes sense because I have the four of pentacles reverse so this is a card about letting go opening your hands or opening your arms and letting go of something that you were holding on to, um, being open to maybe, maybe not being so closed off basically. So, you know, it makes sense. And then the nine of wands reverse. This is also a card about like letting your guard down, um, giving up something or giving up in general. Um, not being so defensive, not being so guarded. And so I feel like all of these three cards go together, even though they were supposed to be like this, <laughs> you know? But I am gonna go with it, Gemini, just because, I, again, I don't believe in coincidences. And even when I say certain things during my readings and people in the comments are like, why are you saying that? That's not, you said the wrong sign or whatever. Like, there's a reason why um, these things happen. Anyways, and the Three of Swords reverse clarified by these three energies are telling me that this is overcoming some sort of difficulty. So you or your person, maybe this connection as a whole is overcoming a difficult um, maybe phase or situation, whatever, whatever was I feel in the way or whatever was keeping someone stuck, I feel like that's no longer a problem. Let's see what else we got. Tell me about the, but I also feel, you know, I think this is gonna be one of those readings that's really complicated. I'm just gonna say that right now because I have 
clearly a partnership here, emperor and empress. But they have so much emotional upheaval with the king of cups reverse, page of cups reverse, and the hermit reverse. All these three cards to me carry very similar energies. Um, but okay, let's just let's just get back into <laughs> back into the the situation here. So we got the king of cups reverse and the seven of cups. So let's start with the king of cups reverse. Why is the king of cups reverse? Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Why is the king of cups reverse? Three of cups. Okay, so maybe this devil reverse energy, this three of swords reverse energy does have something to do with a third person. Um, if you are not dealing with a third party Gemini, this could be that someone's heartbroken about something to do with a reunion. Maybe it's not happening. Maybe there is no reunion and someone's really upset about that. Can I get one more for the king of cups reverse? Why is the king of cups reverse? Why is the king of cups reverse? Page of swords. Maybe they're observing someone else being happy, having a good time, observing someone else celebrating. Um, I feel like this is someone that's heartbroken and, and watching someone else not be heartbroken now that I see these two energies together here. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So that's very interesting. It's, it's like someone's waiting to hear from another person or just watching and waiting. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Maybe this is um, this King of Cups is trying to come up with um, a choice or make a choice here. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? King of Pentacles. Hmm. Why is the uh, Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Eight of Swords. Someone's figuring out their options. Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is someone who is stuck. Interesting. Maybe fearful of making a choice. Frozen in fear. Unsure of which choice to make. Yeah, this is about starting something new. Uh, and maybe that's risky for someone. This is someone that's unable to make a choice with the Two of Swords and the Ace of Wands, you know, and there's the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like there's someone else involved. It, it, I, I almost sense that they're like in the, in the corner somewhere. <laughs> like the elephant in the room. Now the King of Pentacles is here. They're very careful. They're risk adverse. They don't like taking risks. They don't like doing things rashly or without thinking about it. So the Knight of Pentacles is here. The King of Pentacles is there. Very similar energy for me. What is going on with this moon though? It's like this person doesn't know something or isn't sure of something. Whoa. What's this? Queen of Pentacles, okay. There could be another partnership here. Tell me about the moon. What's this moon about? Why is the moon here? Ten of Wands. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Yeah, there's secrets here. Something that's not being talked about. Something that someone's keeping to themselves. Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. We also have the Ten of Cups out here. Interesting. And the Tens are all about like completion. Like nearing the end of something. The pinnacle of something. And I feel like there's there's some sort of burden that someone's carrying secretly. This could be related to money, because I have the Ace of Pentacles here, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, a lot of Pentacles on the board. <laughs> so this, this could be related to money, to assets. Why is the High Priestess here? 
Spirit, why is the High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess? Oops. Okay. Seven of Cups. Interesting. I feel like someone's trying to plan something in secret or is thinking about something in secret. This decision. Tell me about the High Priestess. What is going on with my deck? The Empress. Yeah, this, this, okay. Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There's another ten. This person, I feel, is thinking about, and, and almost with the tens, I'm getting like someone's reaching the end of their rope or or they've they've been doing something a long time or thinking about something a long time, carrying something a long time. This is about you, I feel. I think you are this empress, and I think they are this emperor. Of course, you could flip it if it makes more sense to you. But this decision, I feel, surround or it involves you in some way. And I don't know. There's a Ten of Swords here. Yeah, Queen of Swords after that. So it's almost like this person's thinking about making something happen, doing something here in secret, secretly uh, figuring out their next move. Or I mean, it's really strange, you know, and what I mean by it's really strange is that I feel that this person is not in your life, Gemini. But they're making decisions or th making, having thoughts as if you were in their life. This is what I'm getting. Okay. Let's get some insight into how you're feeling about each other. Can we get some insight, please? What is Gemini thinking or feeling about this person? What are they thinking or feeling about Gemini? What are the energies between Gemini and their person? Tell me about Gemini. Tell me about Gemini. What is Gemini's energy in this connection? Happy ending. Okay. Tell me about Gemini's person. What are their energies in this connection? What are Gemini's person? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection? What can you tell me about Gemini's person? Judgment call, exactly. They're trying to make a decision, this person. And I feel like you are thinking of a future with this person. So again, I don't feel you're on the same page necessarily here. I mean, maybe their decision is in order to, like, for example, maybe they're trying to make a judgment call so that they have an opportunity with you in the future. But for some reason, I don't feel like you and this person are together. Um, I feel like this person watches you or you watch them from a distance. Tell me about the Emperor and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you're waiting for your happy ending with this person. Tell me about the Emperor and the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Emperor and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, Four of Wands. I feel like you are just waiting for them to come forward with this offer. And then you could have a happy ending. Tell me about the Emperor and the Knight of Pentacles. Yep, Ace of Pentacles. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So it's very, your energy is very clear, Gemini. You're just waiting for this. This is your person in your mind. This is the person you're meant to be with. This is the person that you think about having a future with. Okay, so tell me about Gemini's person. Why the Five of Pentacles? I feel like they miss you or they're missing their Empress. Um, they're struggling without something or needing help in some way. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Having financial difficulties, perhaps. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Oh, well, we got two. The Emperor. Wow, that is crazy that the Emperor and the Empress came out twice. And the Two of Wands. This person's, yeah, this person's thinking about what path to go down, what choice they should make here. I have a little ant. Excuse me. I don't like killing them. Okay, so I have the page of pentacles and then the five of pentacles and the three of swords at the bottom of the deck here. So I feel like this is all connected. It's almost like this person wants to go after a new opportunity with the page of pentacles. You know, but 
it's very difficult for them right now for whatever reason not sure what they're dealing with i mean if there's a third party that makes sense what's this two of wands about you have to choose one or the other what's this two of wands about i keep getting picking more than one yeah two of pentacles and the death card scorpio energy they're thinking about whether they should end something in their life that's why the ten of swords came out earlier Ten of Wands is here, Ten of Pentacles, this idea of a culmination, a change, that there's something has to change in their life, that they have to go after what makes them happy. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. And I feel like it's their Empress. Their Empress is what they're missing. You are their missing piece, um, is what I'm seeing here. And I feel like for some reason, in order for them to get their empress or uh, be near you again or whatever the case may be, I feel like they need to make take a risk here because they're not sure of the outcome. I have the seven of pentacles here, the hermit reverse. What are these two energies about? Why is the hermit reverse with the seven of pentacles? Why is the hermit reverse with the seven of pentacles? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone willing to put in the work, make an effort to make things right. Six of Pentacles. I feel like they're willing to try to give to this, but they don't know how it'll, it'll end up. And I think deep down, they wonder if this is a wrong choice or a wrong move on their part. Um, I think this is someone that maybe they're ignoring that part of them that's super practical and logical and going based off of their emotions. I don't know why I'm picking this up, but I think this is why the King of Cups is reversed and the Page of Cups is reversed. It's almost like emotionally, they're not, someone here is not doing well. They're still maybe heartbroken or pining after someone or missing someone that they love. And I feel like because of this, they can't rest. Um, they're, they're thinking of this decision that in their mind will probably bring about a huge change in their life. So why the Page of Cups reverse in the outcome? We have the Ten of Cups, which is great, but why the Page of Cups reverse? Spirit, why is the Page of Cups reverse? Keep picking up more than one card. King of Cups and the Hierophant, Taurus energy there. King of Cups shows up again. I'm telling you, it's this is similar energy. It's almost like it's the same person. Tell me about the Page of Cups reverse. Why is the Page of Cups reverse? Seven of Pentacles again. Yeah. Interesting that the um, Hierophant is here. And then there's judgment at the bottom of the deck. They're making that judgment call but they don't know how it's going to turn out. They just know that they have to do something. That's the energy I'm picking up. It's almost like they just know that they can't continue as they are. They want to be happy. And I feel like that means they have to give something up here. Whoever this is. The higher font is interesting. Why is the higher font here? Why is the higher font here? The lovers, Gemini energy. So what I'm getting here is that this, this higher font is with you. Three of wands at the bottom of the deck. It's like they're waiting to have this with you. Something long-term to be with their person, to be with Gemini. This is what they need to be with Gemini. They want their happy ending with Gemini and you do too. You're marrying each other. But for some reason, what I'm picking up here, and you know, it might not resonate with everyone, but I feel for most of you, what I'm picking up here is that your person, Gemini, is the one that needs to do the bulk of the work to get back on track with you because you're, you're not together. This is like happening outside of you 